this is something that's sort of annoyed me about Christianity over the years. It is this statement that is often made that other religions are false because they don't offer redemption. That Christianity was the only religion where God came down to sacrifice himself to pay for our sins. And no other religion offers this. So therefore, they can't possibly be true. And yes, I've actually heard this argument. It's sort of the idea that Christianity is unique and therefore it's true. And it's, yes, it sounds like a flawed argument and it is. But it's sort of a problem that I've had because it's basically saying my religion has this problem and we also happen to have the solution for it. And no other religion offers this. But no other religion requires this. It's only the Christianity that requires God sacrificing himself to pay for sins. Other religions actually allow for you know, you to do work off or to do different things. And yes, I know that's sort of the key point here is that you know, the Christian believes that you need to be redeemed, so those, therefore those other religions are false. The thing is, nobody in those religions thinks you need to be redeemed by Jesus or anything. So it seems to me sort of a flawed argument to say that those are, religions are false because they don't fit the criteria that only your religion does. You know, and this is sort of, I have heard this quite a bit often when I've asked, you know, well, what evidence do you have that your religion is true? Why, why aren't all these other religions true? And you often say, well, my, these religions don't offer redemption. They offer works over over God. You know, and no man, and the Bible says, no man can, can ever do enough good works to get into heaven. But that's the thing. The other religions don't believe this. So I'm not quite sure what exactly you're expecting people of another religion to do? Do you expect them to buy into your story? Do you expect them to say, oh, geez, I didn't think about it this way? Because other religions don't have the same requirements. I don't know, I mean, I guess maybe this isn't a big thing, but I've heard a lot with different apologetics. And I've seen various apologists use this argument in debates and whatnot when it's brought up. And I've heard this from Christians when I've asked, well, you know, why don't you, why don't you believe in other religions? What's your evidence that they're false? And it always seems to sort of come back to the idea that Christianity is true and Christianity says that we require certain things to get to heaven or, you know, all these different things. But no other religion expects or requires these things. I'm not quite sure you know what that has to do with anything. If Christianity is true, then yeah, it sort of does, but if not, then these criteria aren't evidence for anything. You can't get from Christianity being more true than Islam or Judaism or Wicca or whatever else because of criteria that Christianity requires. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling and nobody ever hears this too often. It's just something that has frustrated me and it's sort of come to mind a few times the last little while. Because I've heard it a few times recently. What's your guys' thoughts? I mean, have you guys ever heard something similar to this? Or not? Let me know. Oh, and last chance to do any um, questions for my 100 subs since I'll be answering that tomorrow night. So that'll be the next video I'll be doing will be the answer. So look forward to that, hopefully. <laughs> Gonna be doing those pretty quickly. Okay.